I am the most handsome man in the world. Maybe he really is Prince Charming from Shrek 2. Young naive, I'm assuming boy, is a hockey player, got in a relationship, and took the virginity of any girl, just anyone. I'm Gabby. I'm Sabrina. What do I say? I'm Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. And this is Strange DMs. DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Today we have on special guest, Taylor Lorenz. We're so happy to have such an amazing journalist with us uh, who also just recently wrote a book. Taylor, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, my new book is called Extremely Online, The Untold Story of Fame, Influence, and Power on the Internet. And it's all about sort of the first 20 years of the social internet, like the rise of social media, blog culture, um, and the content creator industry. Um, and it kind of charts how we all became kind of content creators ourselves and um, how these platforms took over our lives. If you grew up or spent any time on the internet, it'll probably be very like nostalgic. Yeah, it's such a new space. There's no handbook. This hasn't been done before. It's just kind of, it's still the wild west. People don't realize it. We are still in the wild west of the internet. Taylor, did I see that you used to be an actual like blogger? Yeah. Back before, was that oh. just like on Tumblr or did you have like a blog dedicated website? Yeah, well, I had a couple like random blog spot type blogs, but it was really Tumblr that got me into the blog world. And yeah, I was, I mean, I just graduated into the recession like a lot of millennials and uh, was working retail, was working temp jobs. And then this girl at one of my temp jobs introduced me to Tumblr and I was like, this is the best website I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> And I, um, yeah, I, and I became a blogger. And then that got me into writing and then reporting. And then now I work in traditional media. It's crazy. <laughs> I feel like this is such a classic millennial pipeline. Like, <laughs> graduated into the recession, took like seven odd jobs with a degree, and then is finally working in media. It's hard to like remember. I was telling my, you know, my Gen Z um, cousin, because all my cousins are like in high school and college now. And, <laughs> Like the recession was crazy. I think like graduating the pandemic might have been kind of similar where like the world was just upside down and there was, you know, everything was falling apart. And it worked out. You get to uh, work mostly from home now. I work 100% from home. I've actually been remote over half my career. I've like always had, I when I was at the Atlantic, they didn't have like their office in New York set up yet right when I joined. So like I was remote and I think the obsession over like, I get everyone back to the office. It's like chill it's, it's not necessary yeah. <laughs> i love the office but all i do is socialize like yep. i don't do any work i go to everyone's desk i take <laughs> like five lunch breaks so so now that you do have you know the platform that you do uh being a writer and journalist um you get some wacky might i say deranged dms yourself <laughs> yeah. especially like i i know i see you a lot on twitter it seems like you trend very frequently these days um <laughs> yeah and elon blocked me from or like everyone i he killed like tweet deck and i can't see my dm requests anymore that is where like the craziest of the craziest dms happen so unfortunately i only have my instagram dms here today but so let's take a, a nice <laughs> a dip in the pool shall we <laughs> this one's from prince charming or well this i think personal. i don't think I don't we're think not i don't name. think we're doxing him i don't think he's prince charming <laughs> <laughs> all right so this one says i love you in all caps heart 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 probably like a week later you get hi four days later you get i'm a nice real person and a retired Air Force major. Heart. Well, oh, how could you refute that <laughs> offer? Two days later, let's rendezvous at my place. Ten days later, I am the most handsome man in the world. Maybe he really is Prince Charming from Shrek 2. <laughs> it seems that like you didn't open this. Did he like his own first message that I love you? Yes. Because look, he, there's a heart on it. Yes, he oh, liked he that message. Yes. Yeah. Self-care. Self-care. <laughs> I get a lot of, um, I'm sure you guys do too. Like as a woman on the internet, I feel like you get a lot of message from like, you know, would-be suitors. And I always just delete <laughs> them. But this one, I just thought was so funny to call yourself real Prince the Charming. Most handsome the man. most handsome man in the world. And I don't think I would agree, but... Um, <laughs> 
But I'm wondering, is he using this account to just kind of like cast the net, reach out to multiple women and just seeing who responds? Or is this account dedicated to you? That's a very good question. I want to assume <laughs> I'm the only woman in his life, but... <laughs> you know, the vocabulary in this tells me he's like 40, probably. I think he's like a boomer. He's a retired Air he's Force major. That sounds like he fought okay, in fair. like World War II. Maybe... <laughs> He saw Top Gun and he's like, let me see if I still got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was inspired. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know what? This one, actually, I was actually going to respond. Let's not oh! ignore this one. It's actually just an English teacher that wanted me to have him <laughs> come as a guest to their class. <laughs> oh, this is this not was really age. wholesome. Yeah. Sorry. I just saw that when I was scrolling and I was like, oh, that's really sweet. I should do that. This is so random. No one's ever asked me this before. So sure, I'll probably do it. It. So I, I screenshotted it so that I could remember to reply. <laughs> and it, it nice. made its way onto deranged DMs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one I was very confused by. Freshman, young, naive, their hockey player got in a relationship and took virginity. Any girl would, would he was player told me wait date to after over. Said I lied when he liked me, broke up, gag, just wants attention. Canada went after. A guy I dated asked him to come Calgary, but he was from Canada. He never went. He works Tesla now. What a a whore. Okay. This is very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out the sequence of events here. So there's a freshman, young, naive, I'm assuming boy, is a hockey player, got in a relationship, and took the virginity oh. of... Any girl, just anyone. Would he was player told me wait date to after over, of course. Mm -hmm. Said I lied when told he likes me. <laughs> Broke up, gag, just wants attention. Canada went after. It, it seems like- Okay, I'm lost. These are not sentences. Uh, I'm, but there's some semblance there's of thought that is happening here. here. This doesn't even sound like English is their second language. This sounds like it was put through a translator, put through another translator. I, th I think I'm piecing this together. A girl was dating a guy. He took her virginity. Oh. They wanted a date, and then she lied about something, and then they broke up because he just wants attention, and then he moved to Canada. Oh! Nope. Never mind. I thought I had something. No, um, no, you lost it. Well, <laughs> my advice is to be yourself and don't call people whores. Why are they telling this to you? What are you going to do about these relational problems? Yeah, some people we've come to notice um, will treat creators' inboxes like their own diaries. I don't even know if they actually expect you to respond, but they'll just vent, vent, vent there. That's what I stopped. I didn't choose any of those because I felt really bad because these people seem to be having problems. There's one girl that messages me, woman, older, not older, but she's probably maybe 10 years older than me. And she's been messaging me about her divorce. I get a lot of, I'm sure you guys do too, like young people also like going through a hard time and asking for advice. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just not the person that can help you, but they mean well. So I didn't want to like roast them. Cause I'm like, oh God, imagine I like make fun of their DM and then they see that, exactly. you know, like that would hurt, but good thing therapy is a little bit more popular these days and it seems like yeah. people are seeking it more often so i think that's a yeah. good thing this was just another follow-up from the prince charming prince charming's back he sent you some sort of video about amber heard yes it was actually like a fan cam of amber heard and it looks to be a power pre point type presentation that he's made of photos of amber heard i talked a lot about the johnny depp trial last year right. and sort mm -hmm. of just the misogynistic like hate that amber got i think I, people have a lot of like thoughts on that trial but i think she was undeniably subject to like a lot of misogyny and um so i guess this guy seems to maybe that's how he like originally found me but yeah, he sent this like slideshow of Amber Heard photos and then followed up with, can I meet you for a romantic date? Tagged his handle, liked his own message. I think he's obsessed with Amber Heard in some way. Oh, interesting. He probably thinks that like he can save her or something. And that's yes. why he goes by Prince Charming. Like he her. wasn't, he wasn't getting into her DMs. So he's like, all right, who's the next big fish that's kind of connected to her? Taylor. I, can I show you his Instagram profile? Yes. It's just so weird. Okay, so we have pictures of Amber Heard. We have like random pictures of his life, like him at the pool. 
And then this whole series <laughs> of Christmas, Christmas content. He's the rare, like, Amber Heard fan and Donald Trump fan. Oh. Can I just read you this Easter hymn that he posted for Donald Trump? Yes. My Sunday Easter hymn to bless Donald, God bless Donald Trump. Donald Trump is risen today. Hallelujah. Our triumphant President Trump. Hallelujah. We got slapped with an unjust indictment. Hallelujah. Suffered to redeem America. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hymns of praise. Trump let us sing unto Trump, our American savior who endured unjust indictment all to save American freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just don't get this man's priorities. I know he's very dedicated. He was commenting on a bunch of my posts for a while too before I shut down the comments. He's not putting a lot of negativity out into the world. And I think of all the people online, that's enough. That's, what can you ask? Here we go. We got the gentlemanly, you know, Prince Charming. This one is kind of on the opposite end of the, the Riz game, if you will. But he sort of started replying to a bunch of my stories. It says, on your post, shouty, love you, a hundred percent. I posted a meme. It's this like meme from Family Guy. Family Guy, <laughs> um, and it's this. It's Lois, I guess, looking at a pill bottle, and it says thousands of DMs from horny fuck boys desperately trying to fill their house one week before Coachella. And then she's labeled herself any hot girl with a pulse. And then he responds to that. He says, "L, I'm not like the rest." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just this Wednesday, hey shorty, you trying to start a podcast, which I am. So I thought that was very prescient of him. You know, we're, we can't see his face anyway, but I love that he's got like that man power pose. Like he watched a TED talk and it's like, yes, <laughs> how to be powerful. <laughs> That's the profile picture for anyone. I you know wondering. I love that he he alternated between shorty and shoddy just mm, just to see mm -hmm. if you'll respond to one or the other. If you need a podcast guest, you know who you can ask. He was he was already he's down. He's your day one. Well, he's on a podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one was just really funny. Somebody DM'd me this video that said, "Never forget when Travis Scott fell off the stage." London, a uh, and it's a video of Travis Scott falling off the stage. Oh well, and that's it. I just we like that. Thought that was funny. I, I thought of Taylor Lorenz when I watched this video. Yeah, it just was like, what about this video made you send it to me? Other than maybe it's funny and people do send me funny things, but this one just yeah. I don't know why this one specifically just was like so random to me. Both your names start with T, so true. There it is. There's a connection. We have this nice paragraph uh, beginning with a yoga emoji my beloved your ancestral guides do have an important message for you concerning your destiny and a toxic guy around you in the past this energy that are blocking your throat chakras also your love life issues this things are turning off your positive and amazing energy causing you setback dm me immediately if you wish to know more i don't know if either of you have ever seen a Korean drama, but there's also Korean dramas that feature scammers. There will be people on the streets um, that talk just like this, and they're like, yeah, your ancestors want this from you, and they're trying to protect you. Here, I I'll help you communicate with your ancestors, but really, it's just a scam to, like, get money out of you. But, like, that's, like, the common scam, you know? There's the Nigerian print scam, there's um, everything on the street, and then there's this in Korea. So yeah, this so seems like a mass dm that they oh, yeah. send out because the username has psychic in it well i so i have to say this one i it kind of stressed me out because i was like do i have negative energy and right. i did go to a psychic um in key west Ooh. back in 2018 and the psychic told me that there was negative energy around. Well, first she gave me like a reading, which was said nothing. And then she said, there's negative around energy around me and to remove it was going to be $150. What? But ever since then, I've been like, wait, but it, should I have just paid? Is the negative energy still around me? My dad can do that for you for free. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, one time I got home from school and my dad was like, he had burning sage around the house and incense to like get rid of negative energy. And he is not a religious man. <laughs> <laughs> so like, he had a nightmare or something. Yeah, I think he did actually. So this one's for Sabrina. 
It's from the account Ratfucker, and I don't think that we're doxing this person, so... I hope not. <laughs> um, the DM is, are you a rat? If it was just, like, a regular, like, user, random jumble of numbers, fine, asking if I'm a rat. But the fact that their name is Ratfucker, and then they're asking me if I'm a rat... That's very confusing. Uh, yeah, it's like, is this a good or a bad thing? Would I you don't, want me to say yes? I don't think it's good, but... Um, I've certainly never seen it before. That's a new one. <laughs> Are you a rat? That's a new one. Um, I used to be a rat at the at the happiest place on earth, and now I'm not. I'm a person again. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's what they were asking. Oh, I don't like that either, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that either. Well, it's 914. I don't want to keep you, Taylor. So thank you so much for joining us today. Um, this has been super duper fun to get a look at the inside of your deranged GMs. Um, can you let the people know where to find you? Yes, you can find me. I'm on YouTube now at Taylor Lorenz or TikTok or Instagram or I still have threads. I'm still like the last user on threads. People keep being like, it's over. And I'm like, I'm having fun. I guess everywhere I'm just at Taylor Lorenz, so. And hopefully in a bookstore near you, you will be finding her book, Extremely yeah. Online. I tried finding it at Barnes & Noble yesterday, but I think I'm too early. No, yes, so it's only available for pre-order right now. And the uh. way that book the book world works is basically once a book launches, the sales don't count. Like for the bestseller list and for all this other stuff, like it's only, it's all about pre pre-orders so if you think oh. you even might read it just pre-order just order it now and it'll be delivered october 3rd what if you want to pre-order like the audio version would that count um so actually audio versions don't count towards any bestseller list but they do <laughs> count towards sales so yes it does okay. it does count yeah well okay. let's try to get her on the bestsellers let's all pre-order extremely online by taylor lorenz Thank you so much for coming on and joining us today. And for those of you who are watching, please let us know uh, who you'd like us to invite on in the future. And if we like them, we will reach out. And if we don't, we won't. So. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.